brief history of your town doing as at its foundation and christianization in 1590 with the name of Sumandi in 1599 it was moved in Cebu Pao Four years later, 1603, she was joined to the Mangas and two years later, in 1605, she enjoyed her independence. In 1608, she was transferred to Laglag, now Barangay Padar, Duñas, and remained in this place for 59 years or until 1667. It had only five barrios, namely Sibukao, and Sumandig in the lowland, and Misi, Kamantugan, and Malunor in the upland. In 1668, Laglag was joined to Pasi, only to be separated a year after 1669. From 1669 to 1844, or for a period of 175 years, Laglag stay, still remained in the sun side side. This was a reason that most of the family names of the residents of Dinas begin with letter L. But later in 1845, Laglag was moved around 4 km eastward and given a name Dinas in memory of the birthplace Dinas Palencia, Spain of Father Florencio Martin who authored the transfer Saint Jerome, Doctor of the Church, and the patron saint of Duñas. The word Duñas or Duña is derived from a Latin word Duma or Domina, which means landlady or madam who was dominated on over a certain house or estate. Significant people and local heroes meet Nazaria Lagos, known as the Florent Nightingale of Panay. Nazaria Lagos was born on August 28, 1851, in Morogan, Duñas, to Juan de la Cruz Lagos in Saturnina Labrillo. So, at the age of 12, she married Segundo Lagos, son of Bartolome Lagos, who established the town of Duñas. Segundo was appointed as president of the town by General Martin Delgado on October 27, 1898. With that, she was helped to become first president of the Cruz Ruja Red Cross in Iloilo. It was created Lagos Attachment. Despite being on good term with the church and the government, Nazaria and her husband secretly assist the Filipino revolutionary by offering their house as a secret place where meetings were held by leader of the group floating a revolution against the Spain colonial government. In line with this they appoint Nazaria as the head of hospital of the revolutionaries in Hagimit and the one who managed the place where they secretly piled food. In order to co recognize this place, Nazaria asked her father for help in building a hospital which he agreed upon. While managing the hospital, Nazaria works also extended to gathering medical supplies and recruiting people in join the movement. The hospital heavily contributed in helping the people until the time come from it was captured and destroyed by the American during the Philippine-American War. Aside from devoting her time assisting and looking after the sick, Nazaria along with her daughter would also be reminded by making the Filipino flag that was raised in the Plaza Indianas on June 12, 
1899 symbolized the proclaim of the country independence in Panay. Geography The municipality was a land area of 90.52 square kilometers or 34.95 square miles which constitute 1.81% of Iloilo total area. harvest and the courage he bestowed the people of Dunyas during month of trials. The people rejoiced for rich harvest for rice and crops. Hence enjoy feast and dance. The colorful event showcased street and interpretative dancing manifesting the towns costume and traditions. Other events include Miss Anihan, Coronation Night, pa Parades, Agro-Industrial Fair, Food Festival, Native Food Fair, Bazaar, Ban Nights, Social and Tarunang Lahi. Don't miss this unique celebration at Duñas Iloilo. Ilo.